and welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to do a wood turning out of a 2,000 year old piece of hewn pine. That's right, 2,000 years. These trees are very long lived and um, they're actually protected. This is a, a tree that, that died many years ago and um, I acquired a piece of it. About a month or so ago I did a, a video and I made a bowl um, claiming that this was a 2,000 year old piece of wood and I had a lot of comments and a lot of emails saying oh it's impossible it couldn't be so I'll prove it to you. Okay so I don't know whether the camera is picking this up I cleaned this end off and the rings of the tree the growth rings are running here like this they work their way out this way so the center of the tree is somewhere about here I don't know whether that's on camera it should be on camera so the center of the tree would be somewhere around here which is about uh, well, maybe five inches from where where this is and the tree continued out this way some distance. Uh, I'm presuming another four or five inches. This is a one millimeter drill bit which is forty thousandths of an inch. Okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom the camera in on this end here and show you how small these growth rings are. Okay um, So you can, you can tell now how small these growth rings are. Now I've worked out that on average there is about a hundred growth rings per inch or per 25.4 millimeters. Okay, there's a lot of growth rings. From there to there is about an inch. So every inch is approximately 100 growth rings. Okay, I'll show you in inches because a lot of people work in inches and I'll turn the rule over and then show you in uh, the metric scale. So, the, I mean the piece of tree that I've got here, first of all, we've established that there is approximately 100 growth rings per inch. Okay, the center of the tree is out over here somewhere which I've I sort of worked out this about five inches over that way if you follow the arc of the ring. So just the piece of wood I've got here from here to here is ten and a half inches. So this piece is over a thousand years old. So if we extend this rule out to where the center of the tree actually is okay which is about five inches further on in and we can say that this tree was approximately another five inches out this way or four to five inches that gives us 20 inches which gives us two thousand years of growth and for those of you who work in the metric scale okay so it's about 500 millimeters so the, the tree was about a meter I must apologize for the quality of sound so far um, so what I've done I've um, I've taken all the talking from out of this video now from here on uh, because the sound was uh, really atrocious and uh, well it was a bit too late by the time I realized it so wherever it's necessary I'll come in and just um, compare so what I'm doing is I'm putting my faceplate on after knocking off some of the longer edges to make it easier to put on the lathe incidentally this uh, next track that you're hearing in, in the background 
is Con O'Neill from Con O'Neill Music. Uh, a link to his uh, albums and his website is below this video. Macintosh is my name, soldier I'd be. Captain in the Madras, native infantry. Fought across these lands. Saved the Duke of Wellington from the knife of a native. So I've got fairly round cylinder now and um, I'm just um, I'm actually using a round nose scraper to uh, remove some of the material there and uh, now I switch back to my 5 8 ball gouge actually I find that's probably the best tool to do that job now I switch back again to my uh, round nose scraper um, you know, I alter, alternate tools quite a lot, actually. And uh, for those of you who um, watch my videos regular, will uh, will know the various reasons. I'm not very conventional uh, using the tools. I use tools that um, I find that work for me. So I'm gradually necking this uh, vase down now, and uh, until I'm happy with the r the the rough shape. So when I'm happy with the overall rough shape of the vase, I'll, um, I'll bore the inside out. Now I did this in two stages. Uh, this is a 32mm spade bit. And uh, I started to cut with it and found out, well, this is a bit blunt. So I switched to a brand new one and I put an extension on it so I could reach right down into the bottom of the vase. So after I've taken out a fair bit of meat out the centre, it always gives you a good start, especially when you're, you're turning up a vase. I then switch to my bowl gouge and uh, very quietly machine the inside out. Thank you. 
thank you for watching this video today and I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe, press like and please come and have a look what other videos I've got. It's now 350 on both my channels. So again, thank you for watching the video and joining me and it's bye, to, bye for now. Thank you.